thanks to Artlist for providing all the music in this video. To get royalty-free original music for your next video, use the special link in the description below and get two extra months free with your paid subscription. I don't know. I mean, there really is just something about something about being out in these huge, epic, expansive, beautiful landscapes. It just it just goes on and on and on here. And there's just something about being out here and seeing this and experiencing it firsthand that that really puts things into perspective. And what I mean by that, what I mean by perspective is it it, it is such a humbling feeling to be out here and to witness the enormity of this place. It's a feeling of, of recognizing how small you are, how insignificant you are when it comes to the long arc of time, the life that you're living in relation to this. It's the kind of thing that, that, at least for me, it makes me realize and really drives home for me how much time you really have available to be living the life that you want and to be pursuing the life that you want and to be making good use of the time that you have available to you. And I realize that I am getting way off track from <laughs> photography. But for me, this is all part of it. And, uh, and it's, it's something that I felt a need to share. So at any rate, as far as photography goes, um, <laughs> it is, um, well, as you can see, it is partly cloudy. And every now and then, like a pocket opens up in the clouds and the sun will come through and it will light up some of the peaks back here in the back. Gives it a little bit of light, a little dim down in the valley, but that's okay. Could be better, could be worse, that's for sure. There could be zero visibility. But um, 
I'm feeling pretty good about this. So right now, I'm basically just shooting bracketed exposure, uh, like F11 ISO 100, and shooting a, uh, what am I doing this at? This is at uh, 50 millimeters, using the 24 to 70 millimeter. Because I'm really, you know, I'm just not too into the foreground here. I might do some wide angle shots to include, just to make sure I have sufficient coverage. But right now, I'm focusing mainly on the, uh, this lovely uh, creek that is just winding its way up through the landscape, up into that orange peak in the back, surrounded by these lovely slate blue gray uh, mountains in the back with the snow and the clouds and uh, that is, that is what you come here for, folks. <laughs> that is it. So I'm going to take some more images here and uh, time to get to work. So, here we are. <laughs> we are in the Southern Highlands here in Iceland. It's summer, it's a little bit cool. And we have arrived at the location that I've been looking at in Google Earth for a while now. I've been staring at satellite imagery from above. And now we are here on the ground. This is an area that is just to the northwest of uh, Landmannalaugar, if you know where Landmannalaugar is, kind of to the, down in the southeast. And this is a little to the northwest. It's kind of tucked in a little behind it to the north. And this is an F road that cuts uh, east to west across the highlands. And I've never been on this F road before, never been here before. And just over here, to the east is that crater. It's the crater that I've been looking at in Google Earth. I can see it just over the roof of the car and it's full of color and hopefully some opportunities for some really good compositions. I'm gonna be doing some still photography. I'm also planning on maybe doing some aerial uh, photography as well using my drone. I am excited to see it. So let's go down and take a look. Absolutely beautiful. This giant crater with these soft colors, with these gradients of color, with the, with like the rust red, with the iron that you can see in some of these um, hills over here. And there's some red kind of in the back back here and some of the green moss coming down the hillside over here to the right. And then the rest of it has this neutral gray, uh, kind of almost like a lunar surface to it with all the boulders and the rocks thrown in. 
I mean, this is one of those environments that I get just uh, really excited to, to see and to experience firsthand because no one else comes here <laughs> because otherwise you'd see like footprints all down the hillside here, down into the, um, down into the crater. I mean, there were some footprints up here on the ridge up here where, where I am. So it's obvious, you know, some other people have come through here and, and checked it out. But as for the crater itself, the inside of it, down in there and around the side of it, you can tell that it is completely undisturbed. It's a little hard to kind of figure out how to photograph exactly. I've, um, I've taken some images with the shadow and without kind of flat like this. And um, I'm gonna keep trying, uh, but it may, this may be one of those things that is better with the drone. But I am gonna take some uh, wide angle shots here and uh, see what I can get. <laughs> 